Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, uh. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungson, Pray for us. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and who made the blood of the martyrs Saint Andrew Kim Taigon and his companions a most fruitful seed of Christians, grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the book of Ezra. In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, in order to fulfill the word of the Lord spoken by Jeremiah, the Lord inspired King Cyrus of Persia to issue this proclamation throughout his kingdom, both by word of mouth and in writing. Thus says Cyrus, king of Persia, all the kingdoms of the earth, the Lord, the God of heaven, has given to me, and he has also charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Therefore, whoever among you belongs to any part of his people, let him go up, and may his God be with him. Let everyone who has survived in whatever place he may have dwelt be assisted by the people of that place with silver, gold, goods, and cattle, together with free will offerings for the house of God in Jerusalem. Then the family heads of Judah and Benjamin, and the priests and Levites, everyone that is whom God had inspired to do so, prepared to go up to build the house of the Lord in Jerusalem. All their neighbors gave them help in every way with silver, gold, goods, and cattle, and with many precious gifts, besides all their free will offerings. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has done marvels for us. The Lord has done marvels for us. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done marvels for us. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done marvels for us. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done marvels for us. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done marvels for us. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, No one who lights a lamp conceals it with a vessel or set it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. For there is nothing hidden that will not become visible, and nothing secret that will not be known and come to light. Take care then how you hear. To anyone who has, more will be given. And from the one 
who has not, even what he seems to have will be taken away. With their brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Growing up, we are fond of browsing in the olden days um, Bible stories. And in our house, we used to have, I think, two volumes of these Bible stories, no? volume 1 to 10, and no? two sets. No? And in this book, no? you can find a lot of pictures, actually, of biblical images, biblical stories, no? which, um, revisiting it now in my memory, no? wala kaming ibang ginawa kundi kulayan, no? o kaya lagyan ng trayola, no? Kaya minsan, napupunit pa. And it was quite some memory to ponder. Looking back, no, I had this very fond memory of this guy, a biblical image, no, na very benevolent king. And this king somewhat was respected no, by the people, no, by his people. No. Only to find out now, no, um, upon reflecting on the readings for today, it was actually King Cyrus of Persia, no? the one our first reading is talking about from the book of Ezra. No? And upon um, recalling and doing research of his um, story, no? he is the king of Persia, and somewhat the Jewish people were very thankful for him because when he um, conquered Babylon no? when the time that the Jewish people were dispersed during the Babylonian e e um, exile, siya yung nagpa-sinaya na bumalik ang mga chosen people, Israel, sa kanilang bayan. No? At hindi lang pinabalik, no? kundi tinulungan pa niyang um, mabuild uli ang kanilang templo. That's why the Jewish people up until today, no, and he is really quoted no, in the scriptures as to be um, caris perespeto. Caris perespeto, even if he came from other culture, caris perespeto kahit hindi siya kasama doon sa bayang Israel. No? He is an outsider, but the people look up to him. No? He is somewhat um, uh, does not belong to the people of God, the Israelites, no? pero yung kabutihan pala ay present din kahit sa nasa labas. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, I would like us to reflect, to focus on this character of, sin, of, of, of um, King Cyrus of Persia. He was inspired to be benevolent to people even if it does not belong to his own. No? Um, he respects actually religion from other people, no? religion from other culture in order to unite them. He's actually a sort of light. Light para sa mga tao Nang sa gayon, kahit sila ay nasa dilim, even if they were in their exile, the Babylonian captivity, no? when he got the chance to restore these people to their place, he asked them to go back no? to Jerusalem and I will even help you build your temple. What can we learn from the story of Cyrus of Persia? We can find goodness actually in places or in people that is least expected to be to be there to, to be present. However, for us, no, para bagang nagakaroon tayo ng stereotyping, no, na ang mabuti ay kami lang, no, na ang liwanag ay nasa amin lang, no, na kami lang ang 
bayan ng Diyos. Kami lang ang nakakaalam ng kung ano ang dapat na gagawin. In our gospel reading, Jesus talks about light. No one who lights a lamp conceals it with a vessel and sets it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a lampstand so that those who enter may see light. It is a very beautiful um, image that we can somehow contrast with with um, King Cyrus. Liwanag na available din para sa iba. Liwanag na makikita natin sa ating kapwa. However, we all know that this is not true. No? This is not somehow being practiced, especially in this month's coming October. No? We have observed this in the news. We have observed, observed this as people are somehow trying to um, know who sinong tatakbo. No? May mga ilaw ang bawat isa sa atin. Eh. May mga liwanag na binibigay. However, no, nakakalungkot lang na in order for one light to be acknowledged, no, somehow, people does not just conceal the light, but actually blow it. Remember, my dear brothers and sisters, no, blowing another's light, another's candle, will not make yours burn brighter. Para bagang, hihipan ko ang liwanag mo para makita na mas maliwanag ako. No? Very sad. No? Nakakalungkot. And this is our reality. While it is necessary for us to correct each other, while it is necessary for us to do fraternal correction, no? I think it is good to ask ourselves, no? Bakit ko ba ito ginagawa? What inspires me to do this? No? Is it for self-aggrandizement? Is it to promote my own somehow karera? Or do I do it out of charity? Do I do it out of love? What inspires me to pursue no? this kind of life? No? And I guess unless we see each other as light, we see each other as somehow capable of bringing goodness, of possessing truth. Just how King Cyrus was able to exhibit it to the people of Israel. I guess we still have a long way to go as a people. That's why for this Holy Mass, my dear brothers and sisters, no? It is good to ask ourselves, no? do I recognize the light present also in my brothers and sisters, even if they are opposed to my party, even if they don't belong to the tribe no? that I identify with? Hopefully, my dear brothers and sisters, this light will properly be acknowledged as present. Why? Because it is God who gave it to us. The problem is we do not recognize it to be present in each and every one of us. Because we are too busy promoting our own self-aggrandizement, self-vested interest. We are challenged to be like Cyrus of Persia, to think more of the people, to consider their, their advantage and be inspired by their, our loving concern to one another. Amen.
Let us pray to God the Father that the light of His Son, Jesus Christ, may bring hope and salvation to all. In every prayer we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the people of God may be like a great light shining in the darkness by their efforts in building a better world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That leaders of nations may bring rays of hope to those who suffer by giving justice to the oppressed and dignity to every human person. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents may be like light on a mountain top, guiding their children to God's love by their way of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick, the depressed, and the heartbroken may discover the light of Christ in their suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an end to the pandemic, that the sick be healed, especially our beloved Archbishop Jose, that those who care for them be strengthened and help us all to persevere in faith and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may receive perpetual light, happiness, and eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God our Father, give us new awareness and strength to be committed to the service of others and be a lamp shining on them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May their brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, Almighty God, on the offerings of your people, and through the intercession of the blessed martyrs, grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you for the salvation of all the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for on the blood of your martyrs, Andrew Kim, Tygon, and companions, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the, in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who, who comes, comes in the name, in the of, the name Lord. of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the in the highest. 
You are indeed the Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us mercy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Andrew Kim Taingon and companion saints, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to become heirs of your eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the, the power, and the, and the glory, glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Of the world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only, but only say, say the word, the word and my soul shall, shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished with the food of the valiant, as we celebrate the blessed martyrs, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Panginoon, 